Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're starting Ratchet & Clank Future Quest for Booty. Alright then. I realize uh, September was the month of essentially pirates because of Talk Like a Pirate Day. I, I, I completely blanked out on the fact that I could have just played this game for that. There's also one in December, but I'm not gonna wait that long. Sound effect volume, music volume, I have no idea. Be OCD and do it like that, so it's like a stair step. Speech up all the way. It's actually not too bad. We could just keep it that way. <laughs> I usually turn down music. Now you want you want we want to know what's funny. The manual for this does n doesn't work anymore. Uh, and if you go to delete, it also breaks the across media bar. That comes up. That is broken down there. You can see the uh, icon. Going to load though fixes it. Now we're going to start a new game because I already enabled subtitles. See, guys? Yeah, right there. Ye must have a death wish, me hearty. A far greater challenge. We leave the locker open, matey. Spoken like a true pirate that would be drunk and couldn't talk properly. Our pirates be grogged up and slow with our blade. With a our blade. A blade. We're going hard because this is the final time I'll probably end up playing this. I've only played it once. And I never I never got all the upgradable weapons. The weapons have like modifications you can get in this game that are scattered throughout uh, the islands uh, you find in the overworld because this this game using the term overworld. This is kind of our it's not really an RPG, but it has RPG elements, so well, it's not like the it's not like the traditional Ratchet and Clank experience because it's all set on one planet, and you go between. So, overworld is an accurate term in this case, but uh, there are no gold bolts in this game. So, skill points either. There's no skill points. It's actually a shorter game than most Ratchet games, so, probably complete it soon. Anyway, here's the cutscene uh, describing what happened in the previous Ratchet and Clank Future game. Enjoy! Once upon a time, there was a fearless young Lombax who gained fame and fortune by ridding the galaxy of Emperor Percival Tachyon and Captain Romulus Slag. What a cheap shot, I tell you. Somebody unplugged me, controller. But just as peace was restored to Polaris, his first mate was kidnapped by creatures known only as the Zoni. <laughs> Using a powerful computer called Iris, he finally located a clue. An old pirate captain who may possess the key to the Zoni dimension. A pirate named Dark Water. This is it, Talon. Darkwater has to be here somewhere. Be careful, Ratchet. 
Mardi Gras is an unregulated planet. Unwanted visitors have a bad habit of disappearing from here. Alas, poor Captain! No one misses you but... but me. I miss you too, Rusty Pete. You may not have me body, but you'll always have me heart. <laughs> the crew hates me, Captain. They don't hate you, Pete. They just don't understand ye. Why, you're my top first mate, you... Ah! Guys, I'm not looking for any... Trouble. Wait! We're just here to find a pirate. Captain Angstrom Darkwater? Darkwater? You hear that, lads? This mangy stowaway seeks the ear of a dead man. How's about we arrange a proper introduction? Why is the sound broken? I don't well, know. That could have gone better. The sound uh, was a little broken. I don't know why. Version 3, as if I didn't upgrade all my... As if I didn't upgrade all my weapons in the past game. Talwin's a Marquesian, and she's also a Terra Strong character. You wanted to you can call her a strong team. That's an uh, element in the. That is a periodic table of elements, elements. And a character voiced by Terra Strong. Uh, that's the definition chart. I'm sorry I haven't played a Ratchet and Clank game for. Well, I did, did, did. Earlier this year I played the PS, PS4 game. It's been a while. And actually, I played Ratchet Clank Future Tools of Destruction recently. You could check that out by, uh... What I meant to say is I've recorded it for the remake Let's Play. You could check that out uh, by hitting the eye icon. You know, that thing in the corner. Of course, I upgraded my weapon because I died. Let me be more clear about that. It's the re remake of the Let's Play, not the video game. There is no remake of Tools of Destruction. There is a remake of the original first Ratchet and Clank game. That's the one I played earlier this year by myself. I didn't support it. I'm assuming the bolt was not there before. The door's locked. Try that bolt crank. So this is the same pirate crew from Tools of Destruction. Because Pete's with them. And they look the same. You know. There's only one robot pirate crew in the Polaris galaxy, I'm pretty sure. I did turn down the sound effects. I really can't hear the music that well. Uh, let's see here. Check out the uh, pause menu, which has get gotten a new starry background, I think. Was that in the original? I think that's probably new. I have to check. Uh, looks different. Stereo, set level difficulty. Uh, 
Okay, you can't change that, and since this game has no trophies, does not have trophy support. This is back in the day where you didn't have trophies. Uh, they introduced that later on. Well, I think they actually introduced this around the, the same time. Uh, this game came out in the summer of 2008. I remember this vividly when I was watching E3 and they announced it. And it came out about, about, a, month, uh, about a month later, I think. Third person? There's two types of people in this world. <laughs> I'm the third person guy. There's no first person though, that's odd. Uh, I like I like to be able to see see in lock strife you don't strafe strife it's not the same word uh, there's no I you don't get to move around naturally like in a adventure game or an action adventure game you're not ready for combat at all points until you're ready to hold down the button. For a, uh, a Let's Play or playthrough on YouTube, I think having it not in Lock Strife is, strafe is kind of a it is an aesthetic aesthetic it's a aesthetic thing. It just makes it look uh, more personal choice. It's just like the camera controls being inverted and normal, which I'm the third party, which is. Just like I don't even know what that button does. I'm just I'm just used to whatever a game throws at me. Whatever. <laughs> Cause then I change and I don't know, you know. I know I never changed it when I originally played the series. This series in particular, I know I never changed it. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's a way to get up. It has been exactly since 2008 since I played this. Uh, prob probably a little bit later because I never... Uh, I don't think I played uh, this game first, obviously. I would have played Tools of Destruction. I actually didn't get my PS3 until... Uh, it, was it was 2008, yeah. Because 2009 is when the next Ratchet & Clank game came out. Came out. There's really nothing missable here. I just, I just, com completionist sake, I'm walking around this side. I don't think I've done that. Yeah, I did. The door's all, yeah, I don't know if I, sp whatever. <laughs> nothing missable whatsoever. Weird antenna things. Like robot antennas, they have the same sort of thing. It's a robot. Pirate livery of ships. It looks just like their heads or their, their bodies. Sneak attack here. Now, if you're really into RPGs, you'll realize here that you could use your all your weapons uh, here and kind of min-max them. I think that's the term. You could use them all instead of just using the ones you start with in normal Ratchet & Clank games, but you could just use them all here because they give you more than one. And that'll help leveling them up. Uh, here. That's just... I just described how every RPG works when you can upgrade your weapons. Which, uh... Is that a Ratchet & Clank thing? I never thought about that before. Is that really just a Ratchet & Clank thing, upgrading your weapons through, uh... RPG element, you know, experience. Certainly it's happened before, but in a third-person platformer, I'm not sure. There's a lot of games out there. I'm sure someone's done that by now. They were probably one of the first people to do it, though. Turret? <clears throat> Actually, the pistol's not very effective here. <laughs> Gee, Talman, I just said that. More or less. I mean, not exactly, but you're you're more on point here.
I guess the Lox Drive thing also comes from playing the original game, Spurs. I probably would have... It's not changeable either, so... Oh, it's not default, I should say. So... It's a matter of a choice. Okay, so some of these doors here, if I remember correctly, will actually give you some more enemies to fight. Let me see. No, this just doesn't mean much. Can't blow anything up. Can I blow anything up with this, or is that it? I didn't think so. Okay. It's a tank. Oh, it looked like a tank. Honestly, it looked like a tank. In here, you could have killed these guys with, uh... Okay, those guys I can't kill. You could have killed this guy with... few little secrets. Nothing significant, though. Oh, did I miss a door? Yeah, I did. Well, there's no enemies behind this door. Here you can get on the roof, I believe. Yep. Although I don't have Clank. So it's gonna take a little bit more effort. I know there's a way to get up there. You see crates. Oh, okay, ladder, right. Give it to me to try to complicate things. Those are like fuses, aren't they? Look like fuses, don't they? Those are pretty big fuses. Okay, here we can also be a bit more. The okay, triangle also has some weird rain effect here. You're actually stopping the rain. That's not a glitch. That's actually pretty neat. Those are actually particles moving really fast. Cool. We haven't used the tornado launcher. We need a group of enemies to do that. Motion sensor. Seriously, these water effects were amazing and when the PS3 came out, so many Alright. Triangle! It's not a teleporter. Another cannon. Who do I look like? Link? Get your paws off me! Alright, lads! To the stones cast tomorrow caverns, and the pythors must be hungry. Avast, ye scurvy swine! Sweet eye of Ozone, eat slag! Scourge of Polaris, slay of dark water itself! Righto! <laughs> and I hereby banish this lumbax to Hunafar Island, where he will get exactly what he's looking for. I, I can. You heard him, lads. To hold a fire in one, two. Oh, just fire! Not again! Like Tetra, we didn't get a barrel. These these pirates are not very nice. They're programmed that way. And so, the Lombax discovered the little-known Pirate Party Foul 21-13, which states, Never interrupt a band of grogged-up space pirates simply because you lost your robotic mate and seek the assistance of a dead captain. Ah! Uh, skip to the part about the curse! Whoa! Spoiler alert! We haven't even gotten to Hilda Far Island! 
Oh, all right. Ratchet? Ratchet? Are you all right? Uh, huh? uh, uh, Clank? Clank, is that you? Clank! Ratchet, are you okay? You swallowed an awful lot of water. Please. It'll take more than a few space pirates to stop me. Come on, let's check out the island. Despite not having a barrel... Okay, we also had Talwin, which has a jetpack. Your jetpack beats any barrel any day. We can we can survive. <laughs> and, well, her, her jetpack doesn't require refueling, as far as I can tell. So it's pretty good. of exploring because I won't fall off you know I'm good I'm, I'm good at this minus clank you know uh, that might make things a little bit interesting I got all the bolts whatever my booster pack can only carry one of us do your grab boots still work So she didn't save me with a jetpack. She still saved me. And you know what, guys? We don't have any weapons. Through, through magic of game, that's the same magic that gets all your weapons and just tosses them. You know, they haven't actually have an explanation for that this time. Clank! Clank, are you out there? Ratchet, you heard that pirate. Darkwater's dead. And there are no Zoni on Murdergras. Rusty Pete tricked us. Hey, he sent us here for a reason. There has to be some kind of connection. Nothing here because that would make no sense. These boxes have physics and they would immediately be washed down by the waterfall, unlike us, for some reason. <coughs> the drawbridge is rusted shut. Hey, maybe you can use your wrench's kinetic tether. Think you can handle this? It's like I didn't even know I had that. No explanation for that, Ratchet. I mean, you know, nice he got job, it upgraded. Ratchet. Come on, I'll race you to the beach. Hey there, young fella. Welcome to Hulufar <laughs> Island. My name's Barnabas Worley. Mayor Barnumer's worthy to be precise. What brings you here? <laughs> of course, uh, this time around we have, uh, well, this is not really new, but it is pretty big in a game that has little to do in it. Well, uh, I don't suppose there's much demand for that particular item. We're trying to contact a friend of ours, but I can't seem to catch a signal. I don't suppose you have a radio tower we could use? Sorry, miss. We had a supply beacon, but someone vandalized it last night. But if you help us repair it, I'm sure you'd be able to contact your friend. Let me guess, pirates. <laughs> I 
In the line of having 100% in the Let's Play title, do I have to go back and get that same dialogue twice? I kind of feel like I should. Help you out. Sure. No, Di Darkwater's dead. Really? So. Well, that is good news. Just climb to the top of each wind turbine and give the old boat crank a turn. Check out the wind turbine. I'll head to higher ground. If I can catch a signal, maybe we can ask Pete what we're supposed to be looking for. Okay, so in the next part, we'll actually start looking around Holofar Island. And get used to it, because this is the main uh, hub area. I'm sure we'll come back here again. Thank you for watching this new Let's Play of Ratchet Clank Quest for Booty. Something I know I promised a long time ago. And we're here. I like, I really like how this game is in 60 FPS. Face palm. They're talking about me being a crotchetizer salesman. Great. Okay, anyway. See ya. Must have been messing around with those pirates. Well, any enemy of Sprocket and his gang is a friend of the island. Darkwater? Oh, he was killed years ago. Over there, in Moral Caverns, by his own first mate, no less. What was his name? Slag. Anyways, my constituents would sure appreciate a little help. I heard he got shot out of a cannon. What you get for messing with those pirates? A tourist? Here? Not much to see now, I'm afraid. Lost our power thanks to a mysterious saboteur. Sorry, young fella. Didn't mean to pry. Your business is your business, I suppose. We're trying to contact a friend of ours.